Right, welcome back to part two. Um, we're uh, going to match up the casings. We've cut the gasket to the uh, to the casings themselves. Put it onto the barrel and marked it up with a pencil. Good enough. We're not doing uh, race tuning. We're just matching it up a little bit. There's not much to take out. It's pretty good. Um, I'll just show you doing a little bit of work. As you can see, I'm angling in, not straight, to keep the flow into the barrel is important. The same on this edge as well. Angle down, not square. Now I've also noticed on the CASA barrel that we've, we've got here is that they've cut the skirt off here at this angle. So that creates a, a step when it's going into your transfer port. It needs to be off like this. So that way it flows straight with the port. Because our port in the casing is at that angle and then our barrel is like this which is wrong so that gives bad flow so we're going to trim all that off on all four so it's square with the, so it's the same angle as the transfer port itself we'll get round to that in a bit Almost there. Okay, that's one side more or less done. I'll do a little bit more work in a bit. Okay, we're, we're going to move on to the piston now. Now, this piston is in the standard configuration, more or less, of Lambretta, whereas the Gudgeon pin position is quite low in the piston whereas most Japanese pistons configurate the Gudgeon pin higher which redu reduces piston slap because 
the force is higher up the piston so the piston remains more stable. The disadvantages of another disadvantage is when the piston is at the bottom and you're relying on flow from the transfers you've got an obstruction by the gudgeon pin. Another big sort of uh, mistake. Avoidable? Yeah. Longer con rod and a jack piston and that will then have the gudgeon pin higher up and it'll be like this and you have much better opening and better gas flow and more piston stability. But what we're going to do, I'm just going to blend the edge of this to try and make it a little bit better because that high step there was not relied on too much for strength but just to take that round that edge off there and flow it a bit better on both sides so we're going to do that now okay we've done some work on this side of the piston as you can see we don't want to go too close to here to reduce strength where the circlip goes but we've blended that part of the piston compared it with the sharp edge on this side and obstruction so this will help flow the gases into your transfers much better it's not perfect we can't change the position of the position of the gudgeon pin unfortunately but we can improve it a little bit so that's another improvement there don't go too much into the corners here keep them keep away from them to a little bit because that is another Achilles heel of Lambretta long skirt and that's a stress point and skirts crack across that stress point this one from Cass has been looks like they've reinforced it to try and stop that from happening as you can see inside they've uh, reinforced the skirt a little bit to stop it cracking but the actual design of it is the Achilles heel of pistons you get a stress point here and you get cracks and skirts fall off hopefully with this one I, I'm not gonna have that problem I hope um, maybe hundred thousand kilometers it'll just fall to bits <laughs> if he ever gets that much anyway that's what we've done there we've just uh, blended that edge over and flowed it okay we're ready now to start putting a few bits together that's all done just drop the stud in gasket on Okay, we're ready to drop the manifold on, put some sealant on it. Washers. Okay, that's our manifold on. We'll just wipe excess gasket sealant away from the inside of the. Otherwise, when that dries, it's going to create a little lip. We'll just wipe that off. We don't need that can go. So now, inside is nice and clean and good. Our transfers have been done. The piston's been done. the right way around please and now as you can see it flows a little bit better with that curved edge right. all we need now is to build the build the build the barrel onto the onto the engine and it'll be job done right let's end a part two don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope you enjoyed it.